Buddy, welcome back to Cash Kicks TV. Today we're back with a new video, and it is a video on the Jordan 5 alternate grapes. These bad boys just came in today. Very happy they're in, so I can give you guys a video of them. But before we get into that, I want to make sure that everyone is hitting that like button. The likes have not been doing that well the last couple of videos, guys. So we want to make sure those likes are up. So when this shoe is being searched, Jordan 5 alternate grape, my video pops up and it's able to be found. Also, make sure you guys continue to hit that subscribe button. The subscribers have been growing video by video, which I love to see. So let's continue that. Let's continue growing this channel. I want to give you guys a little bit of a better uh, angle of this shoe, talk about it a little bit. And I want to also talk about how it's been doing a lot better than this shoe right here and why I may think that is. So let's get straight into that right now. Cash 6 TV, let's go. <laughs> Jordan 5 alternate grape in hand. This shoe came out July 7th. No, it actually came out July 8th. It was supposed to come out July 7th, but it got pushed a day. So not too sure why they did that, but it was fairly pretty easy to get online for me. I know some people said they did take an L. For me, I think I was able to get it three minutes after 10. The shoes drop at 10, 10 a.m. By 10.03, I was out and checked out and I had my uh, order confirmation email. So a pretty easy W for me. Thank God. Hopefully we have the same result tomorrow for the Jordan 1 Gray Smoke. Really looking forward to those. But back to these guys, I really love the quality of this suede right here. The purple suede quality is amazing. And that's why I think this shoe is so popular right now. And people really, really wanted them. These are sold out. So whenever a shoe sells out that quick, there's a reason for it. People want them. And the resale has gone up quite a bit so that's always good news as well and a good thing about these shoes that i didn't really know is this tongue right here is 3m i love 3m on my jordans so that was something that was definitely great to see on this shoe we got also this turquoise looking uh color on the shoe as well it's on the lace lock if you guys know me well i do not keep the lace locks on my fives i do not like the lace lock at all it's actually what turned me away from fives for quite a bit and once i decided and realized that hey i don't need to keep these on i could take them off i slowly made my way back towards fives it's my second five and then that last little while of course getting the jordan five top three that we will get to in a second um but yeah we do have the turquoise on a little bit of spots on the shoe right here the flame right there and on the other side of course just your standard um jordan 5 nothing really spectacular to it um of course here we do have the standard box usually i show you guys the box first i didn't today it just came with the regular jordan 5 box that you see in all your jordan 5 so nothing really spectacular about that um inside we do have our air jordan backwards and then we do have that Jordan sign at the back. I love that Jordan sign in the back because when you're wearing it, that's what people will see. Just that fat Jordan sign right at the back. I really like the way they designed their shoe. This is my first great colorway Jordan 5, surprisingly enough. I never had the original Great 5, which is an amazing shoe. A lot of people have it in their top 10 all time Jordan. I do not, I don't really like that colorway too much, but I had really liked this one a lot better than the original. Jordan 5 grape, mainly because of the suede. There's a lot more going on this shoe and it makes it pop. Shoes pop, it definitely brings a lot more value to me personally. It makes me want it more because who doesn't want to be wearing a shoe that catches the attention of people? I can admit it. I definitely like wearing shoes that people say, yep, that's a good cop. So that's another reason that made me want this shoe. Uh, like I said, these were a shoe that a lot of people wanted, man, especially in America. Um, they actually brought the hype to me. I was kind of sleeping on these in the beginning, but a lot of videos came out of them, and I was able to see them a little bit more, a, a better view of them than what you see on Instagram, and more of what they really look like, and I was sold mainly on the quality, and I'm just happy that I did not sleep on these. This is a shoe I'll usually sleep on, but nope, this is something I'm definitely going to definitely keep my collection i'm not gonna sell these it already goes pretty good with my jersey so you might see me wear it with this jersey you never know with me um let's get a little bit into the jordan 5 top three now um of course this shoe has not been a fan favorite they're actually in stores right now so my main question is 
why do people prefer these so much over these? Is it the grape tongue? It can't be because we love the grape on this. A lot of people didn't like the grape tongue because of just how it mixed in with this shoe. It's kind of random, but that's what the what the and the top is all about. That silhouette of the what the and the top threes. It, it's meant to be a little funky, so I was really confused on that. Maybe it's because of the bottom. Just We kind of already had a shoe kind of similar to this before. I forget what they were called, but they kind of had the same type of black and red bread type of bottom. So maybe it wasn't really exciting to people. Maybe it was the price point. These were actually $300 USD. These being, I mean, not USD, a Canadian. These were 245 Canadian. So these were actually more. So maybe that's why people are staying away from it. Maybe it's a mixture of all three. I don't know. All I'm going to say personally, on foot, if I had to choose what to wear, I would probably go these because it's a lot easier to wear with things. I know it's a funky, great tongue, but this, you literally got to stay neutral. Keep it simple. You can't be wearing too much with it because it's not going to go with everything. Even this jersey, yes, I did say I would wear it with it, but realistically, it would not be a good match. The turquoise on it would kind of throw it off. Wear this, you can kind of go, you could try to do a little bit more with it and it won't look as bad. Of course, like I said, the purple tongue makes it difficult, but I just think there's more options with this shoe. I do think a lot of people are sleeping on this shoe. And I would say if you do have the opportunity to get these, to still go ahead and try because I'm telling you guys, it's a lot better than what a lot of shoes that are coming out, especially. But uh, back to these, very happy we're able to add these in the collection. Um, I'm not saying that I don't like these. I would say out of 10, I would give these about a 7.5, mainly because of the, the quality of them. Colorway wise, not the greatest. Quality, A1. Definitely was not going to sleep on these. Definitely happy to add these to my collection. Let me know if you guys were able to get these. I think a lot of people were able to get them, especially here in Canada. They didn't drop in stores, if I'm correct. They were only online. So once they're only online, there's a lot of pairs to be given online. So a lot of people were able to get them by what I was seeing and told. So I'm not going to be too surprised if you were able to get them. Uh, that's pretty much all I have to say on this shoe. I hope everyone is enjoying it as much as I am. Right now, I just can't wait to lace them and get this lace lock off because I'm just tired of looking at it already. Hope you guys enjoyed today's video. Let me know which shoe you guys like better between the Jordan 5 Top 3 or the Jordan 5 Alternate Grapes. Or if you just, maybe you just like them the same, kind of like how I feel about them. I would prefer these on foot, but in my collection, I would prefer these. So I'm just going to give them a tie. Let me know which ones you guys like. Appreciate you guys for watching. Make sure you hit that subscribe button. And remember to hit that like button. We need to make sure this video is able to be seen by people looking to find more shots of this beautiful shoe. Let's give you guys a quick little view. I like showing you guys a view of both shoes. Maybe a little thumbnail here. Probably not. But there they are. Jordan 5 Alternate Grapes. I'm Cash Kicks TV, and I'm out. Come on, guys. If you made it this far, make sure you hit that like button.